Another year concludes on the Zod 500 channel. It is currently December 30th. Do not panic. There will be videos coming out on the channel on December 31st, as there always are. But I really don't expect to get something big or big enough for it to be uh, mentioned on what would be in this video. But we really did have some incredible moments this year um, with the, for the channel with uh, lots of stuff. Lots of uh, firsts and maybe some lasts. Who knows? So uh, January, we start off on January 1st. We really don't have much interesting things to go on. A couple of pre-recorded videos from the 2021 come out on the channel. And that's really all that happens in early 2022 but near the end january 28th only about 15 days after uh a year and 15 days after my most popular video came out at the time nam lincoln park acapella cover my most popular video for about six or seven months is uploaded and that is afcon 2023 mock draw preliminary rounds which is just basically the next day, which is just January 29th, CF would release the preliminary round draws, the, the, uh, the draw for the preliminary round for AFCON qualifiers. So I did the day before. I made like a whole mock draw and prediction video. Apparently some people liked that. And it really had small nations. Like it wasn't Tunisia, Nigeria, Algeria. It was uh, Gambia, Chad, and Mauritius. If, uh, if that sounds interesting. February happens, I got bored one day and I decided to upload some videos about Ronaldo doing his incredible, you know, uh, two. But near the end, I did my Mario Kart March speed run, like Mario Kart 64 speed run, just basically uh, knowing how many videos I will do for Mario Kart March. I did an introduction, and then for the last couple days, I made a pre-recorded videos to put on that channel. I, I did sing the Ukrainian National Anthem, and that's really it that happened for the channel in February. March, March, and March happened. And if you were to look on Social Blade, uh, surprisingly, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, no, it was, right? No. Second. Second worst video uh, month in terms of views. With only 533. Compared to what I got... The rest of the year, barring March, uh, barring May, 1,141 in January, 899 in February, 865 in April, um, 647 in June, 1,004 in July, 4,207 in August, 2,665 in September, 3,301 in October, and 6,307 in November. That was really not that good for the channel. And then April comes around and made a whole lot of videos about the World Cup draw, I made a World Cup prediction five days after it, uh, the, uh, you know, the group stage was, uh, you know, announced. I know I've said uh, a lot in the section. And then we did some other videos in April, weren't too interesting. And then May came around. Well, actually, April 29th, um, I released Mario Party, uh, Part 1, Mario Party 1, Best Mini Games in Superstars. And that would start this chain of events where I was like, May, June, like for the rest of May, not June, for the rest of May, May 1st, I think the 29th, there's 31 days in May, from May 1st to May 29th was just full Mario Party videos, full on Mario Party videos. And it was my least viewed month, it only had 300... And 53. There wasn't an official statement saying I'm going to do it again. And I probably won't do it again. Because it was just a one-time thing. I just kind of got interested in Mario Party for a little bit uh, of time there. And then I just like kind of wasn't interested into it anymore. And then June came around. And lots more different approaches came around. I started the Paper.io World Cup that month. And I really enjoyed making it. I was so sad that I, uh, I lost the document and I could not finish it. But I do have now the Euro Qualifiers Paper.io World Conflict. And I have been doing that. 
In fact, my channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed is uh, just now. I switched it a couple hours ago to the Albanian Czechia one of your qualifiers. I'm really proud of that video. I really am. So I don't re really remember much of June. It was probably my most forgettable month. Because I know March and May. They got less views, but at least I remember what I did that month. April was kind of meh. But it did get more views, so I guess there's that. January and February are also kind of mad. January I did finish up that uh, MLS badge making. But really nothing else happened in June. Maybe a couple Mario Party videos. I don't really think I did. I made high class, which is uh, really interesting. July rolls around. And I start doing some World Cup prediction videos. I did a World Cup prediction video. I think I might have done two. One where I said that Poland would win the World Cup. At least I changed that later, thankfully. And I also made uh, basically up to luck. Like I had this uh, spinner wheelie majiggy thing. And it was like, there's different sections. And basically whatever I landed on from the, action, from the actions I pulled out, like I taped in, I would uh, predict it by that. So... Some of it would be, like, cultural food. I think I did one. Better capital city. Better historically. Better EAS alarm, which is interesting. August came around, and for the first couple of months, nothing, a uh, couple months, couple weeks, nothing really happened. I mean, my birthday happened, but really nothing happened. I made another ghost video with my friend. That was uh, interesting. But... The real thing, what got me 4,207 views? A video called Ball Goes on Street After I Bounce Ball, which prompted more ball videos that have had a, they've had a slow stop. Probably because the weather outside is it's either snowing or it's raining. There's never really an in-between, and if there is, it's cold, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we would need to, like, put on... Full-on jackets, six layers of hats. Look, it's Canada. Come on, what did you think? But that video really took off, and only about a couple weeks ago, it was my most popular video. Through September, October, November, and a bit of December, it was my most popular video. And then September happens. And what did I do in September? Like, does anyone remember... I mean, I started conference, which is cool and all, but I really don't remember a single thing that happened in September of 2022. Please, please tell me what happened that year. October 2022 rolled around. A couple ball videos. Um, well, you don't believe me? Conference wrapped up. I started doing some more badge making videos and a whole lot of stuff else happened for October but I didn't really have a video that popped off like January February sure like the start of the year I really didn't have videos that popped off but then like July I had World Cup predictions August I had the ball videos September, I still had ball videos that got popular. November, I had the most confusing goal in FIFA 18. And December has just been a roller coaster. <laughs> Literally, it's just been a roller coaster. And But October is that kind of anomaly here at the end of the month, uh, end of the year, where nothing really happened. I mean, Dazon 500 FC really, really loved October. Because it gained so many more views, so many more subscribers, past Gamerville. But really nothing happened for the main channel here in October. Which is interesting. November, my most viewed video of uh, video. My most viewed month in terms of total video views. With 6,307. I definitely did have some popular videos. The World Cup started, so I definitely took advantage of that. I did some World Cup predictions that actually bombed compared to my other ones. I made some World Cup reviews. Some did well, some did not. 
But ironically, the ones that did well were posted in December. I think. Yeah, Germany, Costa Rica was December. Yeah. And then Croatia, Canada, though, that was... That was um, November, so, yeah. And then December, of course, we had lots more of those FIFA 18 moments, although that really didn't pop off. Although October, actually, October did have a pop-off video, completely forgot. Reacting to the Euro qualifiers draw. That was my second most popular video for a little bit there. December. December. We had the my third most popular video come out, the USSR Anthem Misheard Lyrics. Hold up, I'm going to go into my channel and just admire how well this year has been. Popular, you can sort videos by popular. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My seven most popular videos were posted this year. I cannot thank you enough for this. How many subscribers did we enter the year with? Because the goal was to end the year with 100 subscribers. I thought that was a stretch. Apparently, it was a stretch backwards because we actually have 190 now. So that's uh, July, August, November, uh, okay, October 11. Okay, that's December. We started 2022 with 61 subscribers. And we now have 191, which is a difference of 129. We gained 129 subscribers this month. Most of it, of course, came in August. But the point still stands. Also, I'm so happy that we could say that we we posted 1,000 videos this year. 1,000. At school, I was also being called, you post too much. You post too much. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. It wasn't like bullying, I was just accepting it. No, it wasn't. It's true, I was, I'm posting too much. But a thousand videos. Technically, technically, or you want to be so technical with me, we posted 998. This is the 999th. I'm currently screen recording this ending part to be a thousand. The screen record that you could be watching is a thousand. And technically, I have posted over a thousand videos already this year. Factor in all those other channels I have. Like, seriously. I posted, like, 70 videos on the Zod 500 other from July 31st to December something. You know? But, yep, that is the Zod 500 recap of 2022. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.